Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Coding with T. Today we are going to learn how to design profile screen. In the previous tutorial we learn how to design the settings and now using the settings screen we will redirect the user to the profile screen if he want to see his profile or want to edit his profile. So let's quickly have a look what we are going to create. Application is running. We are inside the home screen. We have already completed this home screen. If you are new you can watch the previous videos link is in the description so let's go to profile and in here we have learned how to create this profile now when user is going to click on this icon over here to edit his profile you'll be able to see his profile picture his name username then some of the personal information and also close account or you can say the delete account button when you're going to click on this username he will be able to change this okay so let's get started Waiting for the e-commerce application and we are in the section 3. Okay, so in this uh, e-commerce application in the section 1 we will learn how to design or set up the professional folder structure, themes etc in our Flutter application and in section 2 we learn how to design the login part. Now in section 3 we are officially creating for e-commerce application design. We are almost crossed the mid of this designs few screens left after this we are going to start in section 4 and section 5 the back end of our application so if you're new you can get the playlist link from the description or from the right top corner so without wasting time let's get started in our studio and we are in the project which is e-commerce application we created in the previous tutorial and we are in the settings dot dart this is a screen we learned how to design the previous screen and also over here in the profile card on on press event this was a profile card and on its on press event i have added get dot two to redirect the user to profile screen the profile screen is created right inside features in the lib folder go to personalization screens and we have added profile which is a profile dot dart and empty stateless widget and inside you can see we have a scaffold and in the body we will use scrollable behavior of the body so first of all let's add app bar of this screen we'll use the custom app bar which is the app bar we learn how to create it in this same section as a title text we are going to use profile and also because we can redirect to previous screen so press control space to see all the options and right click this boolean which is show back arrow to true this will simply show the back arrow if show back arrow is true it is automatically going to add a back arrow the custom arrow we defined and also the back arrow event which will redirect to the previous screen control alt l let's run the application okay so our application is running let's go to sign in click on sign in button we are in the home dot dart let's go to profile screen click on this edit button and you can see we are in the profile with a back arrow of custom app bar then now in the body because body is scrollable so we use single child scroll view to add padding from all the sides as a child of this we are going to use padding property as paddings we are going to use the default space in the t sizes class which is the custom class we have created in the utils and down below you can see we have a default space 24 add widgets in vertical direction we have to use the column Okay, the first thing we need to create is a profile picture profile picture is a center and also the rounded one it has two options so for that i am going to use column to place them in a vertical direction for the image i am going to use a circular image pass the image we have already defined over here in the images user go to assets in the images and we have a user.png we are going to use and as a custom t circular image this is the widget we created so this is what we are going to use it has a simple container from the sides have specific width and height then we have a specific padding or default padding which is small size then as a box decoration we are going to add background color and a border radius to make it circular then as an image we have a fit property which by default is using box fit dot cover and uh, we are going to check if it's a network image coming from the network we will use this one otherwise this one we will replace this network image with cache image because we don't want the user to reload data again and again from the firebase storage server so for now let's head back after this we want to add a text button on press is currently null let's add a child as a text let's remove the constant from the scaffold add constants here let's save the code and you can see we have an image with a bottom button which is change profile picture but currently it's not completely in the center of the screen so to do that we have multiple options but the one i'm going to use wrap it with a size box and give the width as double dot infinity it is going to take the complete width of any screen and when we're going to save this you can see we have image and text button in the center 
Next in the details, we're going to create or use the divider, but first add spaces around the divider. Space using size box, space between item, divide by two, which is 16. So divide by two will be eight space. Then we have our divider over here. Then as a size box, we will use the complete space, which is 16. So you have divider visible on the screen. Next, we need to create heading. So we will use the section heading section heading which is our p section heading we have already defined this is the title it also has a show action button by default it's true but we don't want section heading with any button simply make it false so our heading is visible next add some space space between items and now we want to create something very useful which is to show the text for a very specific region of the complete row then show another text on again very specific region apart from the width of the text so we are not going to allow the text to exceed this thing we also don't want to let our application crash so let's see how we can do that we also want to add an action button so to do that let's say we first have to use the row to place all the elements in horizontal direction first let me add two text for both heading and the value or key and the value so we have the first text with a name then we have the second text with the name itself so first theme is body small second theme is body medium both have the ellipses on ellipses are basically the dots we use when specific limit reached to avoid showing anything else next we need to also add an icon icons is using the icons x library then size is 18 now let's save it and you can see we have first name written over here then we have actual name and then we have an icon button or a simple icon so how we can place them as we want so we're going to use a simple expanded widget or enter wrap it with the widget name it expanded let's do the same add expanded to these both widgets so now you can see when the widget is added what this expanded is doing it is going to give the equal space to all the three widgets but we don't want to give equal space to all three what we want is we want to push this icon to the right side keep the same consistent spacing for our title and text so how we can do that we will use the same expanded but we are going to this time use the flex property let's add flex 3 and let's give flex 5 these are again tested values i have tested them you can play with these values to set up your own design let's save it and now you can see the last icon widget is pushed towards the right side and expanded which is the five is using more space than the title itself which is name so flex is currently doing the dividing all the space in two portions the first one is the flex three which is heading then flex five which is text itself and then only providing the remaining space to the last expanded which is not using any flex property so using this we can easily create rest of widget so let me extract this as a separate widget right click refactor extract flutter widget i've copied that widget in the profile added a new directory or a new folder widgets inside we have created profile menu dart and pasted that same widget over here but i have added the title at the top then value at the top which will be string and also the icon itself by default icon is provided but we can change it as well and on the top because these are clickable we want to do some action later on so i've added a gesture detector with the on tap event on tap is again as an on press passed at the top using void callback and then one more thing because all these are going to lay down on top of each other so what i have done is add a vertical space so they should not be connected with each other add a vertical space using space between items divided one by five let's head back I'll replace this with e profile menu import it use the title as name value as coding with t on press is currently null let's save and you can see we still have the same thing now we can easily duplicate and change all the values so i've added few of the elements over here for the personal information same with a one divider then we have user id email phone number gender you can add anything as you like these all are on press so we can perform anything but specifically because user usually don't change all the data at a time and we also don't want the user to be changed everything so let's say we don't want the username to be changed once it's created we don't want to change the user id we don't want to change this email and you see i've changed this icon over here for the user id which can be copied email cannot be changed maybe we are going to let the user change his email and phone number but we will perform authentication as well then we have gender and date of birth and at the end we can easily add delete account using text button in here i have added small space 
at the bottom and then using a center widget to make the text button center on press is null and as a child use x close account or delete account x style is simply color red let's save and you can see we have close account button created which is a text button so that's it for today's tutorial we are going to fetch this all data from the firebase in section 4 okay we'll use to fill this data change the profile in the next section which is the backend section we will try to change this profile upload it to the firestore and the image to the firebase cloud storage then we have personal information again we will store that update it for our firestore database so that's it for today's tutorial i hope you learned something new you can also get the complete link of this playlist from the description below or from the right top corner once again thank you for watching take care allah hafiz